today we're putting Gordon to the test. Again, as per usual. How much does he love me? I don't think that's what this tests. Does it test your loyalty to me? Uh, I'm not sure about that either. <laughs> oh, okay. So, now that's out of the way. Like and subscribe! Like and subscribe for more videos somewhat like this. We'll see. Comment for more video suggestions for By The Way. Alright, so this is a game called The Test. Uh, I'm not sure how much of a game it is from what I've seen of it, but what we shall see. All right. New game. New game. Okay, now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth, even if it's hard to think. Like, how? Do, what do you think of my mother? You like my mother, right? Right? Love her. Great people. <laughs> anyway, we all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world, or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? The process is very simple, in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. Like, what did you do on that summer's night in band camp? There's no alcohol at band camp. <laughs> band camp. <laughs> First thing that happened was they told spooky stories about a trombone that went rogue. <laughs> Anyway, as long as the answers you provide to the questions asked are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. Interesting. This isn't psychic, this isn't a personality test, this is simply nature. Human nature. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions. And provided that you are a, will, a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. Like, what did you think of that black supremacist ex of yours? <laughs> really? No <laughs> such thing. Never existed. No Would idea. you be all right with living alone forever? Uh... I don't know. If I can't have you, no one else can. No, I'm kidding. I'm not Danielle from 90 Day Fiance. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. All right. So, uh, I like my alone time. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Black's not really a color, it's more of a shade. And we're in a blue room. We are in a blue room. Breezy blue. Yeah. So I like the color blue more than black because technicality. <laughs> if you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Uh, yeah, who wouldn't? Are you sure you want the answers you seek? I don't know what answers I seek, but okay. Yes. Are you afraid of spiders? 
no, I am definitely not afraid of spiders. I once saw a really big one, the dock spider. Ooh, they're flat and creepy looking, but I wasn't really that scared of it. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? For the views. <laughs> For the vine! Would you consider y yourself to be fat? You do have the soul of a, of a fat kid. You do like your chocolate and your sweets. That I do. But you are not fat. No, I'm not. No, 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 definitely not. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? No. I'm gonna have to say no to that one. Have you ever wished you would you could be temporarily frozen all the time? This is all very interesting. Interesting. Did you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions when put together spelled the name Satan? No. Does that make you uncomfortable? No. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? Apparently not. See, this is a trap question because, like, you obviously, if you didn't actually find those, those, like, that message, you're gonna say no. But in general, am I good at it? Yes. Are you now wondering what other hidden messages are placed within these questions? Honestly, I do not care now. Have you been entirely honest with your answers thus far? Yes. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? Absolutely not. Are you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly? Dishonestly? No. You're a video game. Stop this. Are you wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn? How? No, it was a, it's been a plan all along. Would you consider yourself captivated? I guess. I want to see the end, so I guess that counts as captivated. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? I suppose. Do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? Okay. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? No. Are you wondering which hidden messages you have missed? No. Have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? To be honest, yeah, a little bit. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Very. Yes. Do most humans annoy you? Unfortunately, I watch way too much fail vids on YouTube. <laughs> Do you prefer animals to people? Well, we have a cat. I have a kitty. And I love my kitty. But... I do like, I don't know, because people really suck sometimes. Oh, I know. Well, we have to get on the roads in Toronto to know that. <laughs> um, but I guess I prefer people to animals. Do you believe in magic? Do you believe in magic? Alright, no. I was nowhere close, not claimable. Do you believe in God or the existence of some form of higher power? No. You, you fear death. death. I don't know. Gordon's gotta about, think. <laughs> I haven't I haven't thought about it for a very long time. I guess not, because I haven't thought about it. Are you attracted to someone other than me? Not currently in a relationship with. No. Did you answer that question with 100% honesty? Yeah! Hmm. Yes. Are you alone? Am I alone? 
I'm I'm a thing of your imagination. I'm not really here. Totally invisible. You can't see me. You can't see me. Okay. I think I'm a I think I have a friend here, I think. At least. <laughs> At least. Right? Maybe. No, I'm not alone. Stop this. But uh, if I told you with the utmost certainty that there's something watching you, would you believe me? Da, 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 da. Something, not someone. So, something? Uh, do you count? God is watching. I always God said is... I don't believe oh. in that. <laughs> well, although you're watching this, but not right now because we're recording the... Um, the I don't know. There's something here. I don't know. I don't know. Watch the shadows in the background, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, there is believe? nothing watching no, you. No, no, I would not believe. No. Have you wondered who I am? It's intriguing. It's interesting. wonder what happens if I try... No, just this. And then this. No, I really haven't wondered who you are. Have you had shivers at any point during this session? No, I have not. Do you feel like you're being watched? No. <laughs> have you considered quitting this session early? Gordon ain't no quitter! Honestly, no one likes a quitter. So, do you drink water every day? Well, it's almost an addiction, in it? <laughs> I guess. It's the one addiction we all share. So, oh, and breathing. Oh, and oxygen. Oxygen is another good one. Anyway, yes. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a short story of a show of my strange addiction where this person claimed to be addicted to breathing. He's like, if I don't breathe, I'll die. I think it was a mock. That has to be. That's, that can't be true. I refuse to believe in it. Anyway, do you eat at least once per day every day? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Do you realize that you've missed seven hidden messages thus far? No, and I really don't. I, I, I do we care? <sighs> kind of bothers me that I miss stuff. Apparently. Apparently. So I did notice a Satan one. Yeah. After watching Markiplier, and then I saw you, and then I'm just like, oh yeah, but. Are you wondering what they were? No. Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? No, it wouldn't. Just tell me, please. There's your favorite number, seven. No. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? Technically... You take a quite a long time to decompose, too, depending on the environment. We have a book on that. That's anyway. Hmm. That went dark. But living the whole like your entire life, it's still longer than the whole decomp decomposition process. Now you just say e you. Even so. even in a frozen environment where like you'd be preserved the longest. Well, no, because, like, I don't know. Until 10,000 years later. Exactly. We're, okay, not them, like, fully intact. Oh, heck no. They could still tell you're a human, though. Um, hmm. Wheel, plural, means everybody in general. So, and I guess they say, will ever do. Do you agree? Makes it about me. So... I guess it is the longest thing we'll ever do because we don't experience the decomposition either. Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
So I guess that's a moot point. I'm sorry I brought it up. So yes, we'll ever, yes. Oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? Well, they're both fruit. They both have seeds. They're yes. both round. Spherical, roughly. No, I do not agree with that. Venus sun doesn't regard the morning star. Did you know that? Huh. No. No, not before this. No, I did not know that. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? Everybody. Everybody. Even the people that do things to little boys and girls and murderers. That's a tough one. Everybody. But there's a lot of qualifiers on everybody. Do you agree? can do anything you put your mind to. Do you agree? Sure. Obedience is more important than freedom. Do you agree? Hell no. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. Do you agree? See, I've played Subnautica. No. I can't breathe water. Do you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase, I love you? Well, isn't that sweet? But no, I did not. Do you wish to be loved? I think everybody does at some level. Yeah. Do you have any addiction? Well, you're addicted to breathing. You're addicted to drinking water. And whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, yeah. Do you, do you dislike the color pink? Dislike it? No, it was the first color I made in art class when I was a kid. No, I do not. Does the color gray seem depressing? No. Do you enjoy loud music? I don't know, I don't really listen to loud music. So I guess I don't know. Do you like to dance? Do, do, do a little dance. I like the chair dance. <laughs> don't record me doing it, that's terrible. Don't, don't just know. Already on camera, baby. All right, do you like to dance? Yes, don't. Anyway, would you consider yourself normal? I mean, what is normal? Normal doesn't exist. I don't think. That's yet to be proven. Do you love your parents? They might be watching. Yes. Do I have to say yes? <laughs> have you ever been lied to? Oh, oh well, oh, that ex-girlfriend who lied to you about her age every, like, month? Come on! Oh, I was just gonna say the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Do you get angry often? I think I drive you nuts a fair amount. A little bit. Do you hold grudges? No, I'd never, I'd be dead by now. <laughs> Have you ever forgiven someone? It's mandatory if you don't hold grudges. <laughs> Have you ever lied? Honestly, who hasn't? Do you think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Come on, Asma. <laughs> I really like trees. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? What is your spirit animal? Uh, eagle, apparently. Huh. Um, so, yeah. Occasionally. And who hasn't when they're a kid, honestly? Um, so yes. Do you believe you have psychic powers? Uh, no. Have you ever seen a ghost? No. Do you dream often? I don't remember them. I'm sure I do. Everyone dreams. Say yeah. 
yet, so I don't remember them. Do you have nightmares often? Can't remember, so no. Do you suffer from anxiety attacks? Big yes! Yeah. Do you suffer from depression? Yes. Do you exercise often and stay active? Not as often as you should. Define often and stay. I really want to be more active, though. Are you emotionally damaged? Uh, do I consider myself, though? I don't know. What's happening? Hold on a second. Uh, no. I'm good. You ever felt betrayed? Yeah. Loss of money. Sure. Do you consider yourself a natural leader? No. If you could push a destroy button on the world, would you press it? I'm gonna say no on that one. Do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Yeah. Have you ever been bullied? Hell yeah. Have you ever been ever bullied someone else? No. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? Dream, dream, dream. Uh, yeah, okay. Do you sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally? Sometimes. Do you find space fascinating? Hell yeah. To be an artist? No, I do not consider myself to be an artist, though we have arted very recently. There's a new wall in our apartment. It's very happy with a bunch of triangles on it. Maybe one day we'll show you. Anyway, no. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? Yeah, I do my best. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Everyone has their flaws. Yeah, I'm, no one's perfect. Do you believe in perfection? I'm gonna say no on that one. Have you ever stole, stolen from someone? Thinking, thinking. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? Very specific, very extreme, very unlikely circumstances. If the purge existed? Nah, I don't know if I would have if the purge existed. But well, if someone like, well, was trying to kill me, be, then... Well, I, the purge would be a circumstance. Yeah. Would I tell anyone? Would you tell me if you only had one day to live? Honestly, I'd almost want you not to. Because I'd just be a depressed person all day. Yeah. So no, I'd save everyone that. And then, then I'm not there to live through all the tears of waterworks and everything anyway. So, yeah, so no, no, I wouldn't tell anyone. Have you ever told your darkest secrets to someone? Did you, do you trust me even though you know nothing about me? Hell no! Do you know who I am? Uh, no clue. No clue, you're some guy in a bird mask. If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? No. You, if I told you that I've been behind you this entire time, would that scare you? No. Empathetic. No. Would you consider yourself to be romantic? Yes. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Don't remember. 
Does that mean I lost? No. Are you prone to headaches or migraines? Yes. Do you look at the ground when you walk? Well, when you live in Toronto and there's ice all over the sidewalks, you kind of have to as a survival mechanism. So, yes. Are you attracted to the opposite sex? Oh, I'm a man. <laughs> well, that's a new one. Okay. So, I'm going to say attracted to the opposite sex, yes. Would you ever shave your head? We could do that for a video. Only for a ton of views. And I'm sure my parents would be disappointed in me. Get this video to like 100 likes and we'll shave Gordon's head. I don't think that's enough. 1,000? I, I don't know. Should we go Get us 100 sub subs right now. 100 subs, and we will shave Gordon's head. Now, don't, don't, don't be, uh, I guess we can do that. It's For a thousand subs? Yeah, I guess. Yes, are you attracted to muscular bodies? Think like bodybuilder girls. Um, I'm sorry, bodybuilders everywhere that are of female. Um... Sorry. Just everything just goes away, even the curves. Anyway, so no. Uh yes, absolutely. Do you trust your best friend entirely? Uh who's your best friend? That is also a good question. Yes. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? Actually, I did drink a water. <laughs> Do you remember your child? Uh, not really. Would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? Oh, man. That would depend on how much is in the bank. I have to know it was a lot of money. And if I could get away with it, permanently, kind of thing, I don't know. That's a toughie. It's a lot of money, though. We can move to a different country. Change our names. Live Be like mobsters. Live like kings and hide in the forest? I don't know. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Did you ever dream about running from a killer? I just said I don't remember my dreams. Did you ever dream about falling off a cliff? There's a few dreams that I do remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, occasionally I would dream of that. Did you ever dream of being naked in public? I neither dream f dream of it for my real life or in my sleeping life, so no, no, I don't. Do you enjoy scary movies or books? No, not really. Do you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? I don't know. Recently, not really. Like a lot of the comedy movies, the movies that are supposed to be comedic these days, I don't know. They just don't pull it off very well. Anyway. My opinion. Uh, la, 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 la. I guess if it's done right, yeah. Do you enjoy being the center of attention? No, not so much. Do you feel like something is always watching you? I don't know, Ashley, are you always watching me? Well, the viewers are watching. But they're not here all the time, though. <laughs> That's the thing. So, all right. I always feel like somebody's watching me. All right. I feel like something is always watching you. So, no, no, I don't have that type of paranoia. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space? 
Absolutely, every day. Have you ever had an out-of-body experience? Despite my lack of trying. Have you ever punched a nun? What the? What? <laughs> that came out of the left field. No, I have never punched a nun. That, that, that would be mean. <laughs> you like dogs better than cats. Well, I you've had, had a dog. I've had a dog. You've had cats. And I've had cats. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Dogs just love you better. Do you prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies? It's been a long time since I've read a book. Oh, I know, and I just got you a book for our anniversary that's like a family thing. Yeah. Uh, it was actually written by someone in his family, and he hasn't read it at all. Shh, you're not supposed to know that. <laughs> uh, I prefer to watch movies. I'm afraid no. I like you have to be honest. I like, I like movies. Are you still wondering why I asked you if you ever punched a nun? A little bit, yeah. Do you get starstruck? I have no idea. I've never met a celebrity. Having never met a celebrity, I don't get starstruck. Do you hate going to big parties and, and social gatherings? I've only had bad experiences at those large parties and social gatherings so yeah I'm gonna say yeah on that one do you is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents receiving presents is pretty dope but it's not everything no it's not I like the cake too you know everybody you say happy birthday to you there is that too I, I liked it I liked that <laughs> Uh, yeah, presents. Seriously though, have you ever punched a nun? Like really, just bam, right in the face. Nun punch! No! Did you laugh? Maybe a little bit. Did you say WTF in your head or even aloud? Yes. Yes, I did. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity to just punch a nun sometime soon? No. Still me. <laughs> if there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? Probably not. You enjoy fantasy fiction games. What, like Final Fantasy? Uh, I guess, yeah. Do you masturbate frequently? Do you keep the juices flowing? Uh, as a guy, I heard once that that's like sort of a good thing for your prostate, so yes. <laughs> Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? No! Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? More than slightly? No. Is your mouth dry? I've been talking this whole time. Of course my mouth is dry. Profanity make you uncomfortable. No, it's just not allowed on YouTube. Thank you, baby. Do you believe in legendary beasts such as Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? That's one's a toughie. No, not really. I mean, in the park over there, there's bad things at night, but I don't think it's Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot. <laughs> it's just a pack of coyotes. <laughs> Are you poor with money management? Oh, yeah. No, I am not. <laughs> I am not bad at money management. <laughs> hey, you haven't been able to save a penny. Yeah. But we managed to get the, the ring lights for half, for half the price that they were on Amazon. Do you enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? Yeah. Gordon the I math guy. Do you speak more than one language fluently? 
fluently, no, definitely not. Unless you count the crazy language in my head. Have you ever visited a, a country other than your own? Yes. Yes, I yeah. have. Yes, I have. Do you enjoy coffee? Not yet. But I'm you have. On but it. you have been drinking coffee. Have you been? In, other than Tim Hortons yesterday, like the coffee I make at home, like have you been fairly enjoying it? It's been okay, especially ever since I had the Tim Hortons coffee. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I just started drinking coffee again, so I honestly don't know if I, I enjoy coffee yet. So I guess we'll have to see about that. But for now, what do you say, yay or nay? For now, yes, I enjoy coffee as a trial as a trial period. Do you believe in demons? No. Believe in angels. Biblical angels? Absolutely not. Now, weeping angels. <laughs> Don't blink. <laughs> Are you afraid of sharks? Not really. I don't want to cut myself in the ocean. But am I afraid? I guess that means I'm afraid of sharks. Yes, fine. Do you prefer baths over showers? Nah, showers are pretty nice. Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? No. Did you see that shadow move in your room a few moments ago? No. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one is calling it? No. Do you think do things in your home often go missing and then reappear later? Hey now, that's normal. Misplacing things? Yeah. Yeah, you misplace things and you find it a week later in a place you never thought to look. Because the cat knocked it off, just went boosh. Yeah. So I guess, yeah. Do you ever hear footsteps around you when you're alone? No. Well, we live in an apartment. We do live in an apartment, but we're not really alone, though. We more only hear fighting than footsteps. Yeah, we mostly hear just the bad stuff, though, so who knows. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? Random? We live in an apartment building. Of course there's random knocking noises. It's all over the place. Like, seriously. Oh, and especially when they're fighting. Did I mention that? Yeah, it happens. All the time. Up until recently. Seriously, all up until recently. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I live in a building. It's not that un unnatural. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? No, I don't. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? No. Does that mean I will at some point in the next couple weeks? Like, what's going on here? Is this thing trying to be weird? Uh, no. Do you have any pets? Yes, I have pets. We have a cat. Is your favorite color green? No. Are you attracted to a family? No. If you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Yes. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? Gordon for prime minister instead of Justin Trudeau. I don't know about that. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I guess. Who? I. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? No. I hope I don't end up there. Do you like fishing? You've oh. gone fishing. I've gone fishing. But you also have fish allergy. I like fishing. So yes. But I can't fish. But no, you said you, you just said you like fishing, so yes. Yeah, I guess I like fishing. That's fun. Do you like hunting? I've never hunted. Uh... I'd imagine I would enjoy the process. However, I don't know anything about it, and I've never hunted before. 
So that's a big problem. Experience is the killer on that one. So no pun intended. Um, eh, do you like camping? Yes. Do you like guns? Nah, they're not really my thing. I'm getting tired of answering questions. Uh, 40 minutes in, I'm gonna say, I'm actually okay. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? Maybe a little bit. Eyes are the window to the soul, do you agree? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, sure. Do you always keep your promises? Always. Would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you? Ever? Maybe. Well, oh. Are you an only child? No. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? Sometimes. Do you like tattoos? I like the look of some. I don't think I would ever get one. I'm a little bit of a piece of chicken. Uh, but yeah, okay. I, I do like the look of some tattoos. Do you enjoy being high in any form? Yes. Marijuana is legal. Do you believe you have a soul? Everybody's got that soul. Did you cry this week? Not yet. Are you upset with someone right now? No. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? No. Do you understand how this works yet? Not a clue. Not really. Except for the a little bit of the, you know, choice of answers and all that sort of thing. Anyway, no. If you answer the questions twice, your truth may change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about the time you spend answering them. The combination you answer them in, it's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? Yes. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based on the previous question you just answered? Yes. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planned to here for you, specifically you, to learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention. <laughs> Would you believe that? No. <laughs> Are you afraid of being abandoned? Not really. Are you afraid of dying alone? No, we all die alone. Do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered? Based on the results of this test? Maybe. No. Are you always on guard waiting to fend off an attack? No. He's vulnerable. Do you feel like I know you yet? I... He may know you better than I do, and I've been with you for six years. Yeah, because the computer broke. Yeah. All right. Uh, no, you have no idea who I am. You're just, you just know the answers to my questions. <laughs> have you heard, have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? No. I think we have enough information about you, whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you! Hey now, that's mean. It's not nice. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. Well, aren't you just a bucket of sunshine? <laughs> <laughs> That's oh actually pretty God. accurate. Okay. It's incredible to me just how misunderstood you are. In fact, you're so misunderstood that you often don't even understand yourself. Sometimes I agree with that one. You just do things. You just 
do stuff. Why? Because you do. You don't need a reason. You just act. This is not a bad thing. As a matter of fact, this is such an amazing quirk that it is, that is so perfect to someone who might just be madly in love with you. Your spontaneity is a gift that can bring a smile to a miserable face and a crying heart. Do not lose this gift. With all that being said, you are not where you want to be in life. You are not as happy as you lead on sometimes, and only those closest to you know how you really feel. Even then, they don't even truly know, do they? Whatever you do, do not give up. Success and happiness for you is just around the corner. It's one enormous push on your part. It will take a lot of work, but you absolutely positively can make something happen. Just understand that if you stumble, it is not the end of the world. You're always one big breakthrough from something amazing. Keep at it you, for yourself and those around you. Your secret word is power. Remember this word. This will come in handy. Cool. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it in a comment for us. We will be selecting some of you based on your answers to be included in a future project we're currently working on. Okay, that's interesting. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be part of history. This is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in, our, in your comments. Lovely. If you do not wish to be a part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments you leave and we always and we always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you and if they aren't yet, it will all make sense very soon. Trust me on that. Okie dokie. And that was the test. Thank you for watching all the way through. Please, well, please come back, like and subscribe, and leave comments for ideas for more videos in the future. Big hearts for everybody. This is Gordon, this is Ashley. Have a good night.